Okay, time for an update on the rocket stove. Um, I'm finding the fire brick are working pretty awesome. I've uh, I found the mornings, even though that we're still getting pretty cold here at night, have been nicer out here. And I don't know if it's because the fire bricks releasing heat longer, but I've had some of these brick that I couldn't even touch. They got I, I didn't take a temperature reading. Sorry, but. I actually have to go put something on my thumb because it uh, kind of hurts from touching the one I was trying to move. But what I did is I laid my, at first I had my brick, you know, in different configurations, thinking, you know, the heat would get to it better. And, and I just finally realized that, you know what, the way this stove has been running, you know, I've got it pretty much, the bugs worked out, and I'm going to run you through that today. Um... I've got a stack of like eight fire brick there. Around the corner from that, against that heat riser pipes, another stack of eight. I need to get back behind this and stack up another stack of eight around that pipe also. On the down pipe, I have seven, which is going to be eight or nine. And then on this side, since it's not quite as hot, I have them standing on edge and then my wood drying next to that. Um, last night, we, uh, before I changed this, on this other side over here, I had the ones on the left side standing on edge, just like over here. And uh, I had some wood over there that wasn't wet. I usually put the wet stuff next to the brick. Um, but the brick wasn't as high neither and uh, we were starting to smell the smell of the wood from heating heating of the wood so we had to move wood last night from that side and this morning I redid the brick but don't move the brick after your fire is going thumb doesn't have a blister or nothing but hurts and a little something about burns a lot of people use vitamin E and stuff I found something that to me worked even better it was tea tree oil comes in a little bottle two ounce one ounce uh, two ounces you just use it sparingly and it'll last you months um, sometimes if you need it like a salve you can mix it with a little Vaseline and make a salve which makes it makes it pretty darn cool works for things like yeast infections uh, burns great stuff I wish I would have found it sooner so anyhow, back to this. We have the two foot feed pipe. I, at, for a while I was trying to keep the cap tight and so the gasification could happen in this chamber. But what, I'm, what I was finding is no matter how I set my brick down here to let, to let air in there, I would occasionally get smoke puff out once in a while and it's not windy out but it would build up pressure in there and puff out so now I don't I put the cap down but I kinda kink it just a hair so it has a little bit of air coming in up there and that fixed that problem so that's that's still heating up nicely um, I keep my upper pipes between 400 to 500 degrees. I have had this lower pipe glowing on both sides of that T. Um, when I've taken readings, when it's glowing, uh, and this is in the dark, daylight, uh, I've seen it glow too, but so I don't know uh, what temperature it really gets to, but my thermometer only goes up to a thousand degrees and it, after that it just says hi so I don't know if it's if it's glad to see me so it's saying hi so anyhow um, I'm gonna add more brick more fire brick uh, to the short stack here but due to the angle of my my feed tube I won't be able to uh, go as high as the other side unless I bring them out farther which I don't want to get it I don't want to have them too far from the stack um, 
so I'm pretty happy with this at this point. I haven't had any bad smoke days. Oh, check it out. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's doing the puffing thing. So, I, let's get a little closer here. Let's turn on the studio light. Let's see if you can see it. See the puffing? So I got me a little hard hardwood stick here. And I open that a little more. Close this a little more. What happens is sometimes if you get too much wood in there, it will fall. When it falls, it'll block the chimney side, which is bad. And then uh, you'll get this puffing. Right now, it's I can see the smoke rolling in there but it's drawing it down a lot of times I can just close the bottom and open the top and let it draft downward problem is that slows my my heat down I'm kinda glad it did that this morning so I could show you what it was doing um, so, you do need, unless you have an airtight seal up here, you do need uh, to leave this slightly open so it can draw air down and draw, you know, the, the gases and stuff downward. Um, if I'm careful when I put my wood in and make sure it's not going to block the exhaust, then I can get this sucker roaring and put out 500 degrees all across this upper tube all day long without any puffing or anything but I have a feeling that I've been chunking my 2x4 and putting it in there and it's burning better that way than, than when I tried to do it in longer sticks so I'm getting a more complete burn I haven't woke up in the morning like before with any large pieces left over um, my ash is very fine. If you look at the can, it looks like beach sand. I have two cans back there I'm saving for insulation that I was going to put around this when I get some larger pipe to go around it. Uh, I'm going to have to play with this for a little bit today, but um, just a few things to consider, you know, when you're if you're going to build one of these is uh, you're going to have to watch it you can't just let it go on its own, you might come home to a house full of smoke if you're using this design. But I have to say, you know, I've seen other videos of people that put a lot of money into stoves and then had to rebuild them and change them and you know you can put a lot of money into it you're still gonna no matter how much you put into it you're still gonna have to rebuild it you know every few years so my idea here was you know this is just all fitted together the ones that weren't tight I put screws in to hold them together some of them were so tight that I couldn't even, I can't even get them apart even after they heated up um, I put a safety wire on the stack and around this back part just just in case even though it holds itself up pretty well always think of anything bad that can happen ahead of time just kind of play it out in your mind and kind of plan for it and don't expect it to uh, work on its own, but you know, I really suggest the fire brick.
Well, it's we last fed the rocket stove at five, no, at four, at four forty-five. It's now eight twenty-three. So that's three, three and a half hours ago, approximately, maybe a little more. Um, I just shot a bunch of pictures with heat temperature readings of the fire brick. Um, the lowest one was 79 degrees. Um, the firebox is still 84 degrees on that side, 82 on this side. The brick before the firebox, 86 degrees. So we're, the brick has did pretty good holding temp for over three hours. Um, the room, the room is 72 degrees. Um, my wife says that's cold. She likes it blazing hot. So anyhow. All this fire bricks holding uh, heat. I don't know what time the stove went out. Usually, throughout the day, the loads I've been putting in it, the types of wood have been lasting um, an hour, sometimes a little longer, which means this stove has been out for over two hours. Yet the house is still 72 degrees. Um, I'd say that's pretty good. So, I need more fire bricks. <laughs> I need to go behind this heat chamber, this heat riser back here, with another stack of brick like this, and that'll give me even more mass. So thermal mass is the answer. You just need a lot more thermal mass. Oh, and also, to give you an idea of humidity, these containers, let me grab my light for you, these containers were full when I left. Uh, the tall ones got my orange peel oil in it and and water and the other ones were just water. So they went down that much through the firing of the stove. Um, I'm thinking I'm not going to refire this tonight. I'll wait till morning to save wood. <laughs> But that means it'll be colder in here in the morning if I don't. So, decisions, decisions. Well, that's it. God bless y'all.